our former resolve being tested, would we hold faithful on the way? What shall be our goal now that we are for? Could it be we can dedicate him to, and God will open yet another door? We, Virgil and Sharon, do promise with these two precious lives to serve the Lord. As time went on, there was a third, born in a foreign land. Randy is his name, scrawny and frail, but he was in God's hand. Our former resolve once again being tested. What shall be our goal now that we are caught? Shall we not dedicate to the Lord this one also, whom he kept alive? We, Virgil and Sharon, do promise with these three precious lives to serve the Lord. As the years went by, there came a fourth who put us in a whirl. For you see, this one was different. Christina was a girl. <laughs> what shall be our goal now that we are six all told? Shall we not dedicate this sweet little girl as well and continue to be bold? We, Virgil and Sharon, do promise with these four precious lives to serve the Lord. As time went on, there was a change, one that God did arrange. Quite unexpectedly, there opened to us a door of opportunity. Yes, a chance to serve the Lord, though in a far out land it would be. Would it now be right to take these four precious lives with us to a foreign land? And with them, for our loving Lord and truth, take a stand. We, Virgil and Sharon, do promise with these four precious lives to serve the Lord. The end of family edition seemed to have come, but wait, there was none. Kendall was the last. Now the other four had a brother. <laughs> Our course had been set these many years. Should we perhaps alter it now? Or shall we not dedicate this one to knowing God made a way somehow? We, Virgil and Sharon, do promise with these five precious lives to serve the Lord. These five, with their spouses and the offspring they have sprung, were gifts God gave. In retrospect, as we look back, should we perhaps have kept in our own lives to save? We think not, as we glance back through the joys and tears of fifty fleeting years. God has not failed. As we assess the years, more have been the joys than the tears. We, Virgil and Sharon, have no regrets to have been privileged with these five precious gifts to serve the Lord. The circle of life now leaves us as we began. On July 13, 1962, we were but two. God, in his love and mercy, gave us five precious gifts, tis true. We gave them all back to him, and still we thrive. Fifty years have gone swiftly by. As a family, we number more than 35. <laughs> what shall be our goal now that we are again but two? We, Virgil, and Sharon do promise with our lives together to serve the Lord. Our vows are and have been renewed, not to each other, that was until death do us part, but rather to our loving Lord, whom we love and serve with all our heart. We do not need to renew our red wedding vows if we live before the Lord as we should. However, each change along a 50-year pathway has brought a need to reassess our goal. We both have agreed, and still agree, there is but one goal. And we trust you will make it yours too. Joshua said it so well. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Days ago, and uh, I got 
got to look at it and, and uh, kind of practice a little bit and know how he wanted to say it. Then on our way out here, we get this email. He said, I've had some downtime or some, some uh, time to myself, and I've come up with another one. Would you read this? <laughs> and uh, so here it is. And this is from Virgil to Sharon. And she doesn't know anything. Sharon, my dear, you are the love of my life. You have been more than I had ever hoped for as my wife. I clearly remember our first date. I knew soon after you would be the perfect helpmate. A queen you were, and to be a queen you shall always be. So proud am I to have you by my side for all the world to see. As you will remember, I did not promise you the good life. I have been humbled again and again that in spite of it, you have never caused me strife. More than once, I have asked you the question, put to Rebecca, will you with me go? You have always brought me joy with your reply. To you and the Lord we serve, I can't say no. Never did you pout or complain, never did you whimper. Other women might have balked, but you never showed your temper. The woman makes the man. If it's true what they say, what an incredible man I must be today. <laughs> Give her everything she deserves, festoon her life with praises. 